just her being out of the country, even though she's an adult and she's grown and can go and do things like this. <laughs> As a mom, I'm still very much wanting to make sure she's safe and I'm always concerned about where she's at and what she's doing. With no cell service on the 620 mile ride through Mongolia and her daughter take a part in a historically brutal race where it's you, your horse and mother nature, Melody says she had a few sleepless nights over the last couple weeks. And while she could track Shelby on the Derby's official website and see that she was in first early on in the race, things took a dark turn. Her dot stopped and I'm like, okay, well, why is that not moving anymore? And I was just like panicked. I just started crying at that point and the, the not knowing. And I was for a, several hours that night, I was a not knowing and in a lot of tears. Fortunately, Shelby was okay but she did have to track down her ride and saddle back up after getting thrown off her horse. And it was just a few days later, the tracker showed no movement from Shelby before Melody got an alarming text. She had gotten bucked off a couple of times and they wanted to take her down to the Capitol, to um, the hospital to have her checked out. And that was um, the Derby's call. They had made that decision that they were gonna pull her. Since she had to leave the, the Derby area, she then was no longer qualified to, to win. She could, couldn't compete. Shelby didn't suffer any broken bones, but did get a little boozed up. And while she couldn't race for the win, she was able to cross the finish line and an item off her bucket list. And I'm proud of her because she is very strong and she's very independent and she goes and does what she, you know, she has a determination to do those things.